You know, for someone who claims to be so smart, for someone who claims to be a doctor, you'd think William Lane Craig would understand atheism just a little bit better. Let's do this. You know, ordinarily I'd get up in front of my green screen, put some special effects up, but honestly, at this point, I mean, seriously, I only want to do that now for people who deserve it. And William Lane Craig doesn't qualify. Not anymore. Not with this argument. You see, he's trying to tell us, tell us, what atheism means. What we have to mean when we say we are an atheist. Check it out. Bill, you've said something related to this so-called new definition of atheism. And so many of our atheist friends will insist that the definition of atheism is a lack of belief in God. Well, yeah, that's exactly what it does mean. A theist, not a theist. We are not one of you. That's what atheist means, not one of you. Uh, you want atheism to be like some sort of anti-religion, to be, you know, something we all join, a congregation of not-God-believers, and it doesn't work like that. Sorry, pal. Now, you've pointed out a couple of things that I think are related to this, and that is, if a person lacks belief in God, that only tells you the mental or psychological or personal state of that person. Mm -hmm. It tells you nothing as to whether God exists. And it's not supposed to. I mean, if someone tells me they're a Christian, that only tells me what they believe. It doesn't tell me that what they believe is true. <laughs> so why should atheists be any different? Right, it's an autobiographical comment about one's personal psychology that I lack a belief in God. It, it's not a view. It's not something that is either true or false. It's just the absence of this particular belief. And that is all it's supposed to be. I'm not a baseball fan. I don't watch baseball. I am not a God believer. I don't believe in God. That's all there is to it. Atheist is not supposed to be some label that says, oh, I'm affiliated with this or that. It just says I'm not one of you. And as I've said before, in that sense, our cat Muff was an atheist because she lacked belief in God and therefore was in this psychological state. But that says absolutely nothing about the truth or falsity of the proposition that God exists. But Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, and any other religion I can think of, doesn't actually make a truth or falsehood claim about the existence of God. No, wait, I take that back. These religions make plenty of claims. What they don't do is justify those claims with logic, reason, and especially evidence. Objective evidence. You don't actually prove that God exists, you only claim it. And because you don't justify that claim, that's why I'm not on board with you. That's why I am an atheist. Because I can't do the faith thing. I can't believe for no good reason. I can't believe without proof and evidence. But that's exactly what religion demands of me. So, yeah, maybe atheism doesn't actually prove whether God is real or not, but it doesn't have to, and it's not supposed to. All it says is, I am not a theist. I'm not on board with the people who claim God exists. And I'm not on board with the people who claim God exists because they haven't proved God exists. They don't provide sufficient evidence for me to change from being not a believer into a believer. That's it. So this argument of Craig's, it's pathetic. It's, it's off target. It, it's frankly a straw man. Boy, I tell you, I cannot get a lot of people to see that though. Hmm. They are really hanging on to this definition. You know why I think, Kevin, I think they hang on to this because it excuses them from engaging in the intellectual hard work of trying to justify their position. They don't have to offer then any justification for what they believe. They just say, well, I, I lack this belief. But that's just it. This isn't something that we believe. This is about something we don't believe. And we don't believe that you religious people have made a sufficient case for us to change our minds. You see? 
It, it isn't that we have said, no, there is no God. Some of us have, but not all of us. Uh, what we are is not theists. No matter how strongly we're not theists, no matter why we're not theists, we have not been convinced by religious people to be one of them. And thus we are not theists, and thus we are atheists. That's what the word means. That's what the position means. Now, granted, some of us have decided, well, God doesn't exist, thus we are not theists. Well, others of us have said, hey, we're open to the possibility that God exists. You just have to prove it. We're not theists yet, but you could make us theists if you prove it if you provide sufficient evidence. But that doesn't mean it's something we believe. It's not a positive belief. It's not us saying there is no God. It's us saying we need to be convinced to think there is one. And until we do think there is one, we are not theists, thus we are atheists. That's what it is. Now I realize you don't like it that atheism is a much more inclusive category than theism is. You don't like it that atheism includes disbelievers and non-believers, but it does. That's what the word means, atheist, not a theist. Get over it. Get used to it, because it ain't changing. And it's really intellectual laziness. If I lacked the belief, say, that there is uh, gold on Mars, that wouldn't prove that there is no gold on Mars. Uh, even if there were no evidence that there is gold on Mars, that's not proof that there isn't gold on Mars. There could well be some gold there, and we just haven't found it yet. So the, the mere absence of having some belief doesn't go to prove that the entity in question doesn't exist. So? So the hell what? It's not like religion proves itself true. You demand faith of people. You demand belief of people. You don't provide proof. You don't provide evidence. But all of a sudden, atheism has to? What's with the double standard here? And you can't excuse yourself in that intellectually lazy way from justifying your viewpoint. Okay, then. Prove God exists. Justify your own position, you intellectually lazy hypocrite. William Lane Craig is a joke, people. I don't know why anyone pays attention to him, except as a source of comedy. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying, don't run on automatic. Instead, please, think. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. And please visit my Sazzle store, where you'll find all kinds of Bionic Dance merchandise. If you don't like what I'm saying, there's a good chance you're the reason I'm saying it.